Hey YouTube, this is your girl Winfire69 and I'm coming to you with another video. I hope everyone's having a fabulous Wednesday evening here today with um, just a few items that I have picked up. I wanted to show you guys. I um, had them on, I posted them on Instagram, but I just wanted to just um, give you some information on the, on the items that I had picked up. So let me, I don't want my video to be too long, so let me just jump right into the video. Um, I have purchased some Hunter Chelsea boots, and these are the men's ones. These are not the women's. The reason why I got the men's is because um, they had, I like the blue. These are the blue tops with the black bottom, and I always love that style. Um, these are size 8, um, which is an 8 men's, 9 women. These were on sale at Hunter's website. I told you guys that Hunter had a sale and they still have the sale going on. Um, these were, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think it was like $100, $103 or something like that. I think these are normally $140 or $135 or $140 for these. And these are the men's Hunter boots. I have these in black, the women's black. So I decided to get this in. Um in uh blue so those are these here okay and let me put this back down and hunter had socks on sale these are the knee-high socks but i'm going to use them in a different way and here are they these are like the sparkly glitter fabulous <laughs> socks and these are these are blue tweeds um and i got it in a green one as well and the pink one as well and i think i ordered another set if i'm not mistaken so these are these and these are the knee high but i'm going to use these i'm going to slouch them down to my shin area or uh, whatever so these are these here the reason why i got these because these are just so unique and the fact that the boots are so just bleh, plain, these are something that could just spice them up, you know, playful type of socks. So these are the Hunter ones, okay? And Hunter still has a sale, so I just want to put that back out there. Okay. All right. So I had also per uh, purchased, I had also posted uh, something on my Instagram, and I just wanted to discuss it first. You know, uh, let me show you first, and then I'll discuss what I have to discuss. Well, no, let me discuss it first, and I'll show you just quickly. So, I, you know, you guys, I always collect a lot of luggage tags. So, uh, my girl, Michelle O'Brien. Hey, Michelle. She was here in the NYC, um, and she had, you know, uh, DM me and told me that, you know, she showed me that she went to the Maison store on Fifth Avenue got her tags done. Um, she also got um, another tag that I said I'm going to go to the store to get. Um, and I'm not going to tell you what that tag is. I'll not tag, stamp. I keep saying tag. Hot stamp is. I'll show you guys. I think I'm going to go up there this weekend and I'm going to show you what uh, the stamp she got. Um, and then she went down to Herald Square Macy's. Um, and she got her passport, her Louis Vuitton passport, stamped with uh, the Empire State Building. I knew they were coming out with the M Empire State Building. I didn't know when they were going to come out with it. I, when I was there the other day, I spoke to Sunny, and Sunny, hey Sunny, and she had uh, stated that she didn't know when it was coming. But it actually came probably a couple of days after me and her had that discussion. Because I knew it was going to be the Empire State Building. Because that's actually the landmark. It's actually a block away from Harold Square Macy's. And that's a tourist, a tourist area. Or the building is a tourist, you know, whatever. So um, I saw Michelle have it in her passport. So what I did was. I sat at it, and then, here's the thing, uh, I'm loving this, um, 
what happened was I was on Instagram and I saw a fellow Instagram uh, or Grammy had a luggage tag that was stamped with a taxi cab on it. I was like, oh my God. So immediately I DM that person and asked that person where they got that stamp from. And he told me that the stamp was done at a pop-up store in Brookville Place. So Brookville Place is a atrium area where all luxury brand stuff is. They have Saks, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Hermes. They have all of that there down in lower Manhattan off of the West Side Highway by the Freedom Tower, across the street from the Freedom Tower. So Saturday, I jumped up and I went down there. And I, um, when I got there, um, the young lady said that um, the stamp, they didn't have the stamp for the taxi. They lent it out. They have the smallest stamp and not the biggest stamp. So I told her that I wanted it. I wanted a bigger stamp on there. So she told me I had to wait a couple of days for them to return the stamp because they lent it out for an event. Okay, so moving forward. Um, I took, I gave her my phone number and my name and she said, when it comes in, she'll call me. Okay, so what I did was I took four stamps, four, four stamps, four luggage tags, so I was going to drop off two at the pop-up shop down in Brookfield. And then two, I was taking it up to Harrow Square. So when I left Brookfield, I took the train up to Harrow Square. And Stephanie wasn't there. But Augusto was there. Hey, Augusto. And um, I told him I wanted the Empire State Building. He said, we have the small one and we have the big one. I said, I want the big one. So he says, okay. He said, I have nobody to stamp it for you right now. So can you leave it and come back in a couple of days? I said, absolutely. So I dropped off two stamps and that was that. So he says, come back on Monday, but I wasn't able to come back on Monday. So I went yesterday, which was Tuesday. So I went Tuesday and I went in there and it was just a weird, I don't know, a weird feeling. I don't know. It's just weird. Like, my girls are not there anymore. The only person that's there right now, the only two that's there right now is Sonny and um, Stephanie and Augusto. Those are the only three that I truly, like, kind of have a relationship with. The rest of these people, I don't really, I don't even know who they are. They were all standing around. I'm standing there, and no one is helping me. And I'm like, okay, this is weird, but I digress. Uh... I was like, can someone help me? And they was like, oh, okay, you know, what did you need? You know, like like I was bugging them or whatever. Anyway, um, I told them I came to pick up my luggage tags. Okay, so they said, okay, let, let's go get them. They brought, me, brought them to me, and I was kind of pissed. Now, if I'm being petty, please let me know in the comment section. They brought me these here. These here, they bought me. These are the two luggage tags. Let me move it up a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Okay. That's not what I asked for. I didn't ask for gold. I asked for no color on them. And I'll tell you why I asked them for no color. The Damier Bin one, after a while, it starts to peel. They say the gold color doesn't peel as quick as if you have like a color like red, green or whatever. But I want what I want. You know what I'm saying? The young lady didn't put it down. So they assumed that I wanted it in gold. I was very pissed. I was pissed at the fact that, um, one, I went into the store and... When I dropped it off, the young lady was kind of like, like she wasn't into it or maybe she wasn't as pleasant. That's one. Two, when I go to pick it up, it seemed like I was like being ignored. 
you know? Okay. Three, they're trying to push this on me. And I said, first of all, these are my own luggage tags. These are not tags that I purchased here just today or on Saturday. These are my own tags that I brought in to have done. Okay. She was trying to sell me something I wasn't buying. Okay. I know what I want and I know why I want it that way. Moving forward, I just said, give them to me, give them to me. So she said, I said, where's my sales associate, Stephanie? Because, you know, I never had an issue with all of this, you know, and maybe I'm being petty, which I'm probably not being petty, you know, um, but so she was like, oh, Stephanie's on break and this, that, whatever. I said, yeah, okay, just wrap them up and give them to me. And I left. I get a text from Stephanie like about 10, 15 minutes later. And she asked me, she told me that she was very sorry that this has happened. And if I want to come back, um, my man, she said her manager um, told her what happened. And they're going to stamp too without the gold foil to see how it looks. If I like it, then I can take them. Okay, so that brings me to these two here. So these are the two that I did get stamped. So these are the two that they stamped and they gave me. And she said, these are free of charge. So I was kind of like happy, you know, with this, with these here. That's how I wanted them because I like them like that as well. Okay. So that's how come I got four. So I didn't have to pay for those other two. So that, you know, brings me to that. Okay, so now I posted these out there on, you know, Instagram just to let everybody know that, you know, those people that are in New York City or whatever, that they have the Empire State stamp out. So... I posted it last night. This morning, I got a couple of, you know, comments and things like that. Then I see someone took my picture and put it on their account. On their, and they posted that. And the thing about it is, I have no problem with people posting my pictures. I have no problem with that. But, but just give me credit for the picture. That's all I'm asking, you know. And then... The person in her or his or her profile, you know, like where they have like the words on top. And I'm talking about Instagram. It says, um, do not post pictures without my permission. Okay. So um, that was weird, you know. So I had to like, you know, put a comment there and said, well, are you going to give me credit for my for my picture, you know, and she deleted it, or he or she deleted what I, what I, you know, I wrote, you know, um, and I guess people are asking, so let me just say this, I have, again, no problem with people posting my pictures, I don't, because, you know, I'm that person that's with information, you know, knowledge is power, but, you know, you got to, like, give me credit for the picture, you know. Anyway, so this step goes with the Herald Square Louis Vuitton store. So let me just put that out there for everyone to realize that. This stamp is for Herald Square. So this is their personalized stamp, their custom stamp for their store. The Maison store on Fifth Avenue have the one that I showed you in my last video with the building, okay? That's that one there. Um, any other store? I think the other, the Soho store had the Soho stamp with the skyline, the New York skyline. I don't know if they still have that there or whatever, but that was that stamp there. Um, and then they have the taxi cab stamp at that pop-up store down on uh, Brookfield Place. Okay, so that's that. So I think that's it for right now. I want everyone to enjoy the rest of their week. 
please subscribe, leave your comments, give me a thumbs up. Um, yeah, until next time, take care, stay blessed. Bye now.